Welcome to my poker journey. I have no bankroll. Diagnosed anxiety plus depression. Borderline functioning alcoholic. And enough VA meds to drink a horse. I mean, what can go wrong? Let's go. Welcome to my channel guys. Just wanted to give you an update. Uh, after I filmed this session, it kind of hit me that it was my first pilot episode and I was there at about 9.30 in the morning. So I ended up playing with what you could equate to like the cribbage club at the nursing homes, I guess you could say. A lot of old man coffees, not a lot of things you could do and didn't have a whole lot of hands to go along with it that you're gonna see. I think I only ended up uh, breaking down two of the hands here because I was only there for about three and a half, four hours and I just couldn't get anything and these are the kind of folks you gotta be a little careful to play with and maybe next time I'll pick later in the evening and try to have a little bit more excitement for you guys moving forward. But as always guys, just remember, fight for those pots. Study more when you lose, and failures are just speed bumps to success. So I hope you guys watch, and see you soon. find ourselves on the button with a decent hand, ace five of diamonds, and the cutoff leads for 13. At this time, we decide to just call the 13. We're thinking that only the small blind and big blind are left, and with the game being the way it is, and playing a lot of the old man coffee types, you don't get a lot of opportunities to make hands. So I was kind of hoping to make this hand with at least one other person in the pot because as of now, I've just been draining chips and bleeding slowly, down to not a whole lot left in front of me. The small blind and the big blind both reluctantly fold, and I end up heads up with the cutoff as we head to the flop. The flop is a decent one, coming ace of clubs, two of hearts, and jack of spades, and this time the cutoff leads out for 15, and we again make the call. The table at this point has been playing pretty much like your standard table. Raise, three bed, flop, continuation bed, fold. So when I decided to just call here, it's because of the way the table's been playing. I wanna see what he does on the turn and see if by chance I actually have the best hand. Because ace five at the moment probably best, but it could also be beat. The turn is a nine of clubs. At this time, I'm trying to think of what he could possibly have before he makes an action. I've already eliminated all the high pairs, pocket aces, pocket kings, queens, all the way down to tens. Because with this group and style of play, and the particular table I'm at, normally that's a $30 raise first in hand, and this only started with 13. So now I'm thinking King Queen with a continuation bet, Jack 10, Queen Jack, but I still need to wait and see what he does. But at this point, I'm feeling pretty good about my hand. When the cutoff checks, I decide to make it 35. I still feel the Ace 5 is best, but if I get a call here, I'm prepared to barrel the river because with the check on the turn, the only thing I believe he could have strong enough to call me is another weak ace that I feel with this table I can push out at the end with a big enough bet and the right river card. He does decide to fold though and we take our first pot of the night. second hand of the night, I look down at ace, ten of spades, and not the best idea from under the gun plus two, still early position. 
I decided to bump it up with a straddle on the button, $26. This is one of those hands that I hope you guys can help me with and give me some advice on how you would have played it. It gets to the button who does make the call, small blind and big blind folds, and we end up seeing a flop of four of hearts, seven of hearts, three of diamonds. And at this point, the board checks through. The button doesn't seem too happy with the king of clubs on the turn. And after I check, and I don't know why I check, he thinks for a minute, and after a little bit of time, he puts in a bet of $25. I don't feel that he's that comfortable with it. So I make the call, really not sure why. And when the five of hearts comes on the river, I realize here I am at the river with an ace, 10 of spades. Come on, Bourbon. Why am I in this spot? I'm not gonna be able to bet it. So I end up just letting the button fire out a bet and he bets $60 and I instamuck. So guys, I'm back home here at my apartment out here in Vegas. Uh, not a good session. Uh, when you play with those kind of guys and you play with the older folks, uh, you know, everybody knows everybody there. It's like they have this meetup game there every morning. I know a lot of the locals will know what I'm talking about. Probably not the best kind of uh, table to sit at to start this journey, but I hope the videos get better as I go along. I hope they get a little bit more exciting. I'm going to work on the volume issues I have with the mic that I'm using. But until next time, guys, hope to see you again. Thanks.